So guys, for the first step, you wanna go to search and type in check for updates, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the next step, there's going to be three links down below in the description for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I've got the Nvidia app. And now once you're on our graphics card software, you wanna to go to the driver tab and then click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. For the next step, you want to verify your Black Ops 7 game files. If you're playing Black Ops 7 on Steam, to do that, you want to go to your Steam library and you want to find Black Ops 7. Once you find BO7, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files. You want to verify your BO7 game files. If you're playing on Battle.net, this is how you would verify your game files. You just want to click on the gear icon on Black Ops 7 and then click on Scan and Repair. If you're playing on the Xbox app, you want to find BO7 and then click on the three dots. And now you want to click on Manage. And then click on Files and then click on Verify and Repair. So you just want to verify your BO7 game files. Once you do all of that, you can now launch BO7 and then the problem should be fixed. If they're still not working, then for the second method, you want to uninstall and then reinstall Black Ops 7. So on Steam, you want to right click on it, manage, and then click on uninstall. Then you want to uninstall it. Now you just want to reinstall BO7 again. After you reinstall it, you should be able to launch it without any problems. 